Hey, what's going on guys? Got another opening for the channel. I'm excited about this one. I'm a little bit late. We've got Scarlet and Violet here. Uh, Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer boxes. Uh, you guys saw the thumbnail. I know why you're here. Um, oops, as I bumped the camera. You guys don't need to see, you know, what's inside all these. You're just here to get into the packs, and so am I, really. Um, trying to complete my master set. Got a ways to go. Figured I might, uh, open some of these on channel, see if we can get something cool, um, you know, noteworthy for the channel. Because that'd be fun to kind of document, you know what I mean? So let's see, we got a whole bunch of packs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven packs. And we got both ETBs here, we're going to be opening both. Uh, really the only difference here in the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB, you get one promo here. It's normal, same one as you get in the regular ETB. Love this promo, but then the second one, got that little Pokemon Center exclusive right down there, and I just love that added detail. Love that they give you two. Again, the it, it's called Pokemon Trading Card Game, you know? So they give you two here. You can trade your Maridon here for a Coridon and the other one, and then you've got both both little promos here, and all you gotta do is buy one ETB. So I really like that they did that. Um, I think it's pretty neat, and again, goes back to, as I keep hitting the camera here, I'm sorry, that keeps going back to uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game, which I really like. And again, we're not going to waste any time, we're going to get right into it. You guys know what comes in the ETBs, um, especially if you found this channel. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a big channel, so if you're here, you just want to see some packs, and, and that's why I'm here. So, again, going for the Master Set, I've been pretty lucky so far. I've opened one booster box, and then my fiance and I have both opened one... Uh, one ETB each, so pretty lucky. I've gotten the Maridon alternate, um, and we've gotten one of the. Oh, as we start here with an Armor Rouge, did not have this one. This little illustration rare, as they're calling it nowadays, and then a Halucha. And I love that they give two uh, reverse rares here, especially because, like I said, I'm trying to complete a master set. One of the hardest parts to that is collecting all the reverse hollows, especially with a set like, um, well, Fusion Strike is a big one, but I guess there's no no reason to do a pack trick here either. But loving the new Pokemon in this set, Sprigatito, Flittle, they're just so many of them, so good. Staravia, Mezagoza, Mezagoza, and Skeldurge. What was your starter? Ooh, as he gets basic fire energy. I, of course, had to take Fuecoco, so I'm happy to see the Skeldurge there. I um, already have it in the Master Set, obviously, but it's still a cool card. I love that, love that Pokemon. And then another change. What do we think about only having, uh, only having Hollow Hits? No more non-Hollow Rares. I really like that change. You know, it's a small change, but I am a big fan of the Nest Ball. That's one you should probably keep out of your bulk if you're, um... I think I needed that for my set anyway. If you if you if you're pulling stuff because the nest ball is used competitively, so um, it can actually sell for a little bit. So again, you're not making all your money back, but this is an expensive hobby, and if you can find a way to kind of make your money go a little bit further with collecting, that's really what it's all about. So one illustration rare so far. The rest have been uh, just hollow rare hits, which not amazing, not the worst. But it is what it is. Shroomish, Dedene, Professor's Research. So I've seen, it's funny too, because I've seen a lot of people opening, you know, a lot of sets. And it's crazy because the ETBs, it seems like, are either crazy good or crazy bad. You know, I'm on all the socials and everyone's sharing their, their loot from it. And it's crazy because you. you some people will get like illustration rare after illustration rare, uh, gold rares, anything. But then some you open up and it's just like this. It's like, you know, five or six hollow rares and nothing else. We're what, five packs in and we've only gotten hollow rares? One illustration rare? So it is what it is. But it's crazy. I kind of like, you know, people talk about the Japanese sets. But I kind of like how the booster box are seeded. Obviously, this is this is not a booster box, but I think it'd be kind of neat if they did seed ETBs as well. Because you know, if you're buying an ETB, if you don't get anything crazy, it just feels really bad. Um, you know, especially with MSRP going up, you're now paying 50 to 55 bucks if you're going out. You know, Walmart, Target, GameStop, and to 
pay 55 bucks and only get, you know, the thing is you're getting the hollow rare, but if everyone's getting the same hollow rares, they're not worth anything. So really, e there we go. There's an Arvin, everyone's favorite good boy owner, Arvin. I I was gonna ask, what did you think about uh, Scarlet and Violet? I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I liked, uh, you know, they had different characters in it. The characters seemed memorable. They all had their little storylines. You know, the storylines weren't incredible. Like, they, you know, they were pretty, uh, you could kind of tell where they were going. Nothing too crazy, but I really liked them. I thought characters were memorable. I really liked Pokemon. Um, seems like people either love them or hate them, but I really liked a lot of the designs of the new Pokemon. Um, and just an overall fun game. I ended up catching them all. You got the shiny charm, did a lot of shiny hunting. Um, there was just a lot to do in Scarlet. I thought it was a really good game. So I um, spent a lot of time in it as we get another Armor Rouge. Not as cool as that guy back there, but still pretty cool. We got the channel mascot right back here and just got this guy back in a PSA 10 the other day, so he's going to hang out with us. Channel mascot because, one, he's derpy, as I am, but two, he's got that, again, probably like an apricot berry or something, but come on, that's a pear. And, you know, our channel's Parish Plays, so he's obviously eating a pear. He knows. He knows what's up. So, we're looking for everyone's favorite nurse, Miriam. My fiance is actually a nurse as well, and we pulled the full art of her, but we're still looking for the alternate art. That was her chase card going in, obviously. Mine was the alt art Maridon, which we pulled, so now we're just looking for Miriam, the alt art of her, which would be fantastic. And again, not because we're trying to sell it or anything like that. We're trying to get a master set. I just don't want to buy it. I would much rather pull it. And with pull rates being better, that's the other thing I was going to talk about. Um... What do you guys think about the pull rates being better in this set? I, for one, absolutely love it. You know, it drives prices down, but as a collector, we're trying to collect them all anyway. So if prices come down and it's cheaper to collect them all, that's great. And with pull rates being better, it feels better to open sets. You know, as I, I say pull rates are better as I've gone through 11 packs and gotten two hits, but they are. I mean, I've been very lucky with this set, even if these two booster bot or these two uh, ETBs don't have much. I've still been very lucky this set, so I, I really can't start complaining for a while. I've still pulled probably under under 100 packs, and I've been pretty lucky with what I've gotten. So so first ETB down, and again, this is all we get. That's uh, pretty rough, pretty rough. Let's hope the uh, Scarlet one is better. The Violet one has been wildly more popular, um, pretty much just for that Maridon factor. Everyone, you know... He is cooler, I'll give you that. I played I played Scarlet, I let the fiance have uh, Violet, but that he is much cooler looking and much smoother too, like even riding around the new ride mechanic. When you're riding, you know, Coridon around, it's kinda bumpy. He's kind of you know, he's not very sturdy. He's kinda all over the place. Let's see if we can keep that standing up. Not sure if we can or not, but Let's see, here we go. Upside down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 packs. And again, 1, Sleepy Coridon. 2, Sleepy Coridon. Pokemon Center. I, I just can't get I like that. I love that they're adding a promo card to the ETBs. Because again, you just it's more for your money. Again, if, you're, if I've only got two cards from that last... ETB, but I get two promo cards with it, I'm like, okay, I got four. You know, it's not as bad. But to give two so I can trade one is just top-notch. I really love that. We'll see if we can set these guys up. No, you can't really see them because of the glare. Oh, there you go. Not too bad. We lost, uh, we lost the mascot, but he's still in our hearts. He's still here off-screen, so we know he's there. Alright, let's see if the second ETB can be a little bit better. Get right into it. And again, we were talking about the how better the pull rates are in here as we get a great Tusk EX. Look at that shine on that. That looks pretty good. But again, I'm a I'm a big fan. I don't need, you know, as fun as Evolving Skies is, you know, the reason it's fun is because you can pull uh, you know, $500, $600 Umbreon, whatever. But 
the pull rates are just so so bad that nine out of time nine out of ten times you're opening sets and it's just not a good experience the better the pull rates are in my opinion the better it is just because you know we want people in the hobby that are here to collect and the way to do that is by making better pull rates so the people want to open and want to pull packs so i'm i'm all about that i i love the direction pokemon seems to be going in um pull rates are usually consistent you know throughout a whole set so i'm hoping that this new base set is kind of setting the setting the tone for the rest of the rest of the sets to follow and the rest of the sets to follow seem to be pretty good um we got uh the triplet beat in japan i don't know what it's going to be called in america Oh, Paldea Evolved. They just announced that. Paldea Evolved. And that looks amazing. It's going to be Triple Beat, Clay Burst, and then uh, the other one, Snow Hazard. Those three. And that set looks in absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, this set is good. Don't get me wrong. The, I'm so happy they kept the illustration rares as like the trainer galleries because those cards just look amazing. As this box is not looking great either. Um... But the next set just looks so good. So I'm, I'm happy again. The easier it is to pull, the happier I am. As fun as it is to chase those big cards, it's it turns into just gambling and it's, you know, it's just not fun at that point. Reveroom, Cloth. Interesting uh, hollow rare there. I guess he is memorable as a Titan Pokemon, but interesting that he gets a hollow rare spot. Dondozo gets one. I was trying to think. Did all of the Titan Pokemon, but I don't think uh, the Bombardier, Bombardier got a rever or got a hollow in the set. Which I guess would make sense. He is Spidops EX. This is one half of the art. I do not have the second half. I think this one might be... This is the textured one. I think this one's a little bit harder to pull. Sorry, I had it up looking at the texture myself. Then a Maridon. Good competitive card there, Maridon. The EX is uh, looking like a good card. Good deck. So I like that one. So, so far we're at one illustration rare per box. Let's see if we can find another. Four pulls so far out of 22 packs. My booster box, I think I got like 14 pulls from 36 packs, that was uh, really good. And then I guess, yeah, so my fiance and I both opened an ETB and we got four hits each out of those. So the two that I got here earlier was definitely a uh, outlier. So I'm hoping for two more hits here in this box to keep up with kind of the hit rates going forward. Hey, as we get a Katie, here we go, here we go. So we got Katie and Arvin, full art, one in each. That's a good one. I needed that too. So happy to have the full art trainers. That's a good one. Did she use Spidops? Did she use the first of all Tarantula? We got a little bug trainer action going here. So that's three. So if I get one more hit in here, I'll be right on drop rate, which makes sense. And that would just mean the Violet box was not the best, but again, it definitely happens when you're pulling Pokemon. It's totally just a numbers game. So as much as it sucks, you just sometimes you just gotta keep going. Some days you're gonna hit, and then some days you're gonna regress back down to the mean, and you know you're gonna have some misses. Meowskarada. So this was my fiance's starter, the Sprigatito line. Couldn't resist the kitten, the kitty cat. Neither of us chose poor Quaxley. But I honestly loved the designs of all three of the starters. The three final evolutions were alright, but the starters were just really good design. I really liked all of them. And again, I'm assuming you guys have all seen the basic cards. We've gotten all the commons and uncommons. There's actually nothing left we need for the set there. All we're looking for is reverse hollows and the big hits. Which, again, of the big hits that I've gotten as I struggle to open this pack, I've gotten pretty lucky and gotten um, some good ones so far. So we've got most of the big ones, actually. We're still missing a lot. but And the hits today have been good because the big ones we've gotten have been ones we needed. So 
anytime you can get that, it's good news. Ooh, Maridon EX again. This is a very good competitive card. Selling for like eight, ten bucks right now. I might. I sold one earlier for like six bucks. I might hold on to this one, kind of see what it does. Um, see how the meta shakes out. I think this has a little more room to grow um, as being a competitive card. So again, not one you're sending in to be graded or anything, but I mean you could, but most likely you're just gonna sell that raw. So right here we're back up to four hits which is exactly what I had been getting on these ETBs, the Pokemon Center exclusive. So, the Violet Box was uh, not great, but the Scarlet Box, right on right on drop. Good stuff. Two EXs, an Illustration Rare, and a Floor Art Trainer. I can't complain about that. We'll take that. And a Gold Card in here. <laughs> Mousehold and Palma. Nope. Wah, wah, wah. So... Not bad, not not the best, not the worst, but again, all of these, again, four in one, two in the other, the two was definitely a letdown, the four feels pretty good. But then you, you give all those, and you add these in as well, which I absolutely love these promos, they're so good. For promos, top tier. So, I'm happy with that, that's a, a good box. Not the best, not the worst, we were looking for... Uh, Miriam, some gold cards. Nothing too crazy, but stuff we needed. When you're going for the master set, you need it all. So this is all part of the process. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do so. Uh, it keeps me motivated to keep working, get you more content like this. So I hope you guys liked it because I had a blast doing it. Um, love documenting everything on the channel. Appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.